First Counts Historic Clock has been missing an important part, its hands. But that's about to change. ABC News 4's Leah Sestrick reports. A centerpiece of Georgetown's history. The clock tower is sort of synonymous with Georgetown. Uh, those of us who've been here before are tourists or visitors. This comes to mind when you mention Georgetown. It has stood on Georgetown's historic front street since 1845. Now Cribb is a Georgetown time. native and says the tower serves as a guide to the city. See the clock tower from most any angle. It was built right at the foot of the street as an open air market. Uh, and that was so everybody could find the marketplace back then. Yeah, it's a shame that it doesn't have the clock in it. But time has stood still for this clock. Still don't have any hands yet on the clock. This clock is handless, no time telling capacity at all. The tower is part of the Rice Museum, and since last spring, the clock has been undergoing restoration. Everybody asks, well, what time is it? Time gets away and you forget time. New numbers and hands are being made at a company in Cincinnati, Ohio, with a modern touch, but for this town, in moderation. We, we want it just like it was, actually. The state's third oldest city. Georgetown hopes to keep the authenticity alive. We just hope it lasts forever. As this tower has withstood the ages. Leah Sestrick, ABC News 4. And the owner of the company restoring the clock says the hands will likely be back in just about 30 days. Oh,